So for the next portion of this lesson, I'm going to build these legs. And I notice that the legs are tapered at uh, 87 degrees. However, on the outside, it's a 90 degree angle. So it also has a taper from the sides and the front. Now, the way that I'll do that is I see that it's a 1 inch square at the bottom and a 1 and 11 16 square at the top. And it has a 5 inch rectangle. So let's go ahead and type in layer and we'll turn this PDF off. And then we don't need these points anymore so we can delete them. And let's get ourselves into a top view. And I'm going to, within the ribbon above, select the rectangle tool. And I'll start at 0, 0, and type in 1, 1. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing here. And we are going to make the top of this. But let's just go ahead and make it 1.6875, which is 1 11 sixteenths. I'll type comma and I'll type that same number and press enter. All right, so let's get ourselves in a three-quarter view and I can zoom in a little bit and let's go ahead and take the line tool, put it at the zero zero point and just go straight up and then we know the height is 27 and an 8 for the whole thing. So let's go ahead and type in 27.125, enter, okay, and escape. And so if we look at the PDF, that is the entire length, but it comes down five inches at the where the taper stops. And so it says the taper is 22 and an eighth. So we're going to draw another line there. starting at 0, 0, comma 0 again, or just click on there, and then we'll type in 22 and an eighth. Enter, and then escape. So if I click here, I should see that point right there. So go ahead and type in M for move. Select the outside rectangle and press Enter. And then let's just go ahead and move it to that point. And if you see, it shows us 22.125. All right, so now we're going to, we need to extrude this, but if we extrude this, it's not going to taper in the way we want. And so the way we get around that is we do something called a loft tool. So if you go to your solid on the ribbon above, you'll see loft. And you can just go ahead and select that or type in loft. And we'll select the bottom and the top, and then press Enter. And we'll press Enter again. And let's make this a solid object here so we can see what we've done. And let's look at it from an angle. Now you'll notice that we still have that 90 degree. So if I would make a line at 0, comma 0 and just move it out in one angle. We can take the annotate and we can just check that says 90. Now it is important we check what we're doing as we go along here at 0 comma 0 and let's just move this out. And we should see that the this point should be, now it says, if we zoom in, 88 degrees. And the reality is we're probably more accurate than this drawing because the drawing didn't have uh, an AutoCAD drawing. And it says 87. So we would go to the other sides and we could also verify that. But we've essentially created the bottom part of this leg. Now let's finish this off. Why don't we go to the isometric view here. And let's go ahead and take the box tool and we can simply make a box as such. 
Now I have two separate pieces, so I can merge these together essentially by creating a union. I type in union and select the two objects. I press enter and I've created one leg. And we don't need these details here. And let's put ourselves in the isometric view here. And we've created our first leg. So at this point I want to create four legs. Now the way to do this is to mirror them and I have to be cognizant here that I, I need the taper to stay on the inside. So what I could do is just build the top and mirror it around there. However, if I look very carefully, the detail is such that the leg is actually inside the surface. So there's a half inch from the sides. And then if you look, there's a back detail that also uh, is present there that is um, behind the rear legs. So we're going to have to do a little bit of math here, which uh, fairly straightforward here. And I'm going to do this for us. So let's get ourselves in a top view. And I'm going to build a rectangle here. And I'll just put this at the 0, 0 on the, on the ground, essentially. So let's type in 0, comma, 0, enter. And then it is going to be a width of 38 and 3 eighths, 0.375. And then the depth of this table will be at 17. 0.125 or an eighth. And then we will just simply type in mirror and we will just select the object, press enter. Now because we have the midpoint selected we can just come up here, press enter. Now if you press enter again the command is still there so I'll just press enter again and select the two objects, press enter and come right across and press enter. Now it's important we visually inspect this. So if I look from the front view, I will notice that it is only tapering on the inside and the same would go from the right or the left. So we've successfully tapered these legs and we have four legs.